Welcome everyone to the second IBNS London branch banknote forum. Don't really want to call it an educational one because you're all very well educated already on banknotes. So this has been made possible really just with the hard work of a great committee, <laughs> Gareth, Robin, who are you? Jonathan, <laughs> um, Ken, who's provided a, a, there's a surprise at the, I don't mean a surprise, but there's um, a gift at the end uh, of the uh, afternoon as well. Um, Sands Catering um, uh, really will provide wonderful food and drinks throughout the day. Um, and you know, we have a really good committee in the London branch. So uh, it's all been made possible really due to them. Um, just aside from anything else, the boring stuff, please turn your phones off. Um, if you don't mind for the speakers, it's only fair to them. Um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, um, Colin Narbuth, uh, number one IBS member, um, can't be here with us today. Now, you would have thought that would be, well, you know, he does have advancing news. In actual fact, he's at another event in Derbyshire. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, he, he would like to. Um, us with a small introduction and to give it a little bit more you know, emphasis I've actually passed it to trick a gentleman to read on his behalf and um, Jonathan Calloway will be moving out to uh, Colin's introduction. Yeah thank you very much yes um, I'm just going to correct Pam on one thing because I would say that the, the organisation of this is, is very 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 much down to Pam and Pete. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yes, so this is a message from Colin Narbeth, who is life member number one of the um, IBNS and, and is uh, the man who started the whole thing. Um, and, he's, uh, and I'll just read out his statement here. I have, I'm so sorry that I cannot be here today. It's the first major IBNS affair that I have missed. This forum is one of the great occasions of the year for us, and we must remember that it takes a lot of organising, and thanks to the London Committee, he really means Pam. <laughs> Um, and it's been successful ever since it was introduced. We like to think that members of this forum have given, us, have given some assistance to Pam, chair, chairperson of the London branch, who as publisher has produced, oh, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be very oh. embarrassed at this, but you didn't, I have to read this it's out. Words. As publisher has produced what's be, what must be the most important book of the decade. Money <laughs> 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 of Scotland. Written by me and Dave Burphy. Sorry about that. I, I really, you didn't tell me that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all true. Um, <laughs> the forum is important because it teaches us that collecting paper money, or for that matter, matter any other collectible items, is not the be all and end all the hobby. Perhaps a great benefit is the companionship. We get together with like-minded people, we make friends, we enjoy each other's company, and we learn from each other. We don't have to be rich, although it helps, <laughs> and some are more interested in research than actually owning items. Some of us research and own, but that's a different matter. Um, I can remember the days when Mick Michael of Stanley Gibbons backed me to start a paper money business at Gibbons. Not many people collected paper money at that time, but Gibbon, Gibbons was able to put us on the map. My son Simon delights in telling me that I once sold a note for 200 pounds back in the 60s. It was a struggle, but today that note went under the hammer for 20,000 pounds. The difference 40 years can make. I wish, I wish, I, actually, <laughs> they all did that. <laughs> they don't. Um, coin dealers were very rude about us in the beginning, saying it would never catch on. But now I don't think there's a coin dealer that doesn't handle paper money as well as coins. So that was my aim when I started the International Banknote Society back in 1961. I wrote round to the collectors I was swapping with and suggested that we formed a club. These included some of the greats of the hobby of bygone days, like Dr. Arnold Keller, who catalogued meticulously German Notgelt in its many volumes and who also supplied notes to the famous Butte collections, the Marquis of Butte, uh, the collection which now resides in the British Museum. For a while, 
I did everything, from printing the magazine, collecting subs, until I was able to persuade one of them to become president, and gradually the jobs have taken over until today it is a massive organization, with a magazine a thousand times bigger and better than the first. But I remember those days well. I was a journalist earning eight pounds a week. USA collectors, who were clearly wealthy by my standards, were sending me bunches of notes for swapping or buying. I remember my first such purchase was a £100 note of the Bank of Chattanooga with the famous battle scene on it. My wife was not too excited that I had just spent over half my pay on a piece of paper, and I had to return, sadly, many notes that I would otherwise have liked to buy. Then, as time by went by, of course, I began to meet collectors from all over the world. Jimmy Lawrence, an early president, came and stayed with me. And later, I spent two happy weeks in Kruger Park as his guest. I've made lifelong friends, and to this day, I am busy with my hobbies, particularly paper money. And that is another advantage of being a collector. You don't get bored with life when you get old. You always have another project to work on. So, happy days for all of you. That's from Colin. Thank you very much. We also have, uh, we've been uh, very lucky to have uh, people like David Everest, Chris Neild, Peter, um, uh, Andrew Patterson, who put displays on as well. The items are not for sale, I'm terribly sorry, um, but uh, that some of these are touchy-feely ones, so with David's uh, display you can actually touch the notes, which is really something we don't normally allow, um, and Robin has uh, put out um, about something that's happening with used to creating a bank note which when you purchase the notes rather than transitional town currency is to help wipe the debt of people who really have found themselves in dire situations. A bit close to heart because it comes from Walthamstow and I was born in Hackney so uh, a bit close to heart. So um, and um, part of a dissertation here which has got some wonderful designs as well. So do have a look at those when it's your tea breaks etc.